Okay, let's um, kind of look over the sense informational tab and this is located on our right side from our 3D view. You also can resize depend on your preferences and overall right here is over project properties, camera control and world browser. So the object properties which allowed us to manipulate and absorb selected object um, availability. So for example, if we have it sphere selected, you'll notice right here, we have a visual aspect of the property open. We also have additional bars for the numeric properties where we can buy um, input skew, increase, decrease sizes, resize all these aisle properties as well as location. So for example, if we start moving up and down, you notice right here Z index is changing, so up. Okay, we also have an additional for animation bar. This is will go to animation. In most cases, we'll use this visual aspect with a with a material editor and some additional properties um, as we work. So below this, uh, it's camera control. Also, you notice if we have a camera control always accessible, then we can manipulate and modify. However, when we select camera, we also have an object properties for the camera available for us in the top and the visual aspect as well size modifications and animations as well. So this is um, not necessarily switch, but overall preview of currently select camera. We can convert from different ones and to the properties as well. Okay, below this we have a world object where we have it from browsing from all object materials. We also have a different type of the group layers or ecosystem line with cameras. And we also have it next is the linking if we used any external sources or uh, materials library. And we'll look on these ones a little bit closer when we start working with a specific project.